Hello. Today I'm going to talk a little bit more about active and passive voice. This is the fourth video in a series about active and passive voice. Today I'm going to talk about sentences with indirect objects. First, let me review the steps for changing from active to passive voice. First, we find the verb. Then, we ask who or what is doing the action of the verb. That gives us the subject. The third step is to find the object. We do this by saying the subject, the verb. Then we ask the question, who or what? The answer is the object. We take the object, we move it to the front of the sentence, and then we form the passive of the verb. We take the verb be and whatever verb tense the active sentence is, and then we add the v3 or the past participle. And if necessary, we add the by phrase. Let's take a look at this sentence. She gives a gift. The verb gives the subject, she. She gives what? The answer is a gift. So a gift is the object. We move that to the front of the sentence and we get a gift. The sentence is present simple, so we use the present simple of the verb be, is, and then the v3 given and by her. A gift is given by her. This sentence is a little bit different. She gives me a gift. In that situation, my subject, she, my verb gives, and then I ask what, I have gift, but I also have who, me. I can change this, make this pass it two ways. I can say I am given a gift by her, or a gift is given to me by her. So me is the indirect object, and I can move that to the front of the sentence to make it passive. Or the direct object is a gift, and I can move that to the front of the sentence to make it passive. So there's two possibilities for verbs that have an indirect object. Let's look at another example. He told me a lie. The verb is told. Who told? He. He told what? A lie. So a lie is the direct object. But if I do it again, he told who? The answer would be me. So me is the indirect object. So there's two ways I can make this passive. I can say a lie was told by him or I was told a lie. Both are correct and it just gives a little different um, feel for each one. Here's a list of verbs that often have an indirect object. And when there's that indirect object, that means you have two ways you can make the sentence passive. I hope that helps you understand a little bit more about active and passive voice. And please uh, watch the other videos about active and passive voice in this series. Thanks. Have a good day.